Hey guys, today I'm gonna be showing you how to um fix the sole of your shoe um using shoe goo. You don't necessarily have to use shoe goo, you could use like gorilla glue, just anything like that. It doesn't just work for the sole, you can do it like when you get holes on the side like on top or anywhere but I'm just gonna be showing how to make it how to repair your shoe on the sole because it sucks getting holes there so um you could get shoe go at like CVS Target Walgreens something like that and what you want to do is just put your hand in the shoe so you so like the inside isn't like falling in and push on it and then get the shoe goo squeeze it from the top from like up here or else you won't be able to use all of it and it'll suck towards the end and squeeze and like sort of spread it it's really um thick it's not like average glue so it's you're gonna want to like spread it around all right but once you get it on you could spread it with a knife or just um or just be neat with it. Shoe goo's really good on like repairing any parts of the shoe. But if you could see I'm spreading it, just keep spreading it around. And also don't just do it on the whole part. Do it on like the parts where it's losing grip. Like here, here, like here, and here. Because if you do it earlier, it'll really save your soul and you won't have to do it once it actually rips. It won't last too long, like the shoe goo will wear off. Like it depends on how much you ride. Like if you ride like four hours a day or something like that, it's not gonna last, it'll last like two or three days. But it really depends on how much you ride. But what you do is you just spread it out everywhere. And then while you're spreading it, don't do it like as you're spreading it, but once you see it starting to um dry off, make um just draw like lines with the knife so you have like some sort of grip and it's not just the smooth surface don't do it while um it's still wet because then it'll just go back to flat wait till it dries off a little bit and then once it dries off just make the lines for grip I don't know if you can see that, but yeah. Shugu also for your shugu. Um, on the cap, I would recommend like putting like tin foil or like some kind of like thin metal on it, because if this stuff, like the gooey stuff, if it sticks onto the cap, it it's gonna be impossible to get the cap off. Cause it's gonna stick and when I mean when I say impossible like I really mean impossible there's gonna be no way you could take the cap off and you're just gonna have to spend like another like nine dollars or how much it cost but yeah just draw your lines and then like flatten it but make sure it's like almost dry and I'm not sure how long it dries just once it's almost dry just start drawing the lines for grip you could do any design as long as it's you know good enough and it it works with any problem on your shoe basically like if this part starts to come off or like there's like holes down here and then like it helps anything so just buy shoe goo instead of having to buy new shoes every month or two months or however 
long it takes your shoes to wear out. Also, if a hole in your shoe is the problem with shoe goo, just try to fill in the hole and make it smooth with the rest of the shoe. Because if you don't fill up the hole, it'll just, your shoe won't be smooth, your foot will slip, and it's not going to be a good time. It's going to be a bad time. Also, for biking, I don't really recommend getting Supras. I would get like Vans or Low Tech. My Low Tech lasted me like a couple, it lasted me like four months. But these, I haven't even had these for a week, and there's already holes on the bottom, and I have to use Shugu to repair it. So, yeah, for biking, stay away from Supras. I mean, you could do whatever you want, but if you want to go through a pair of shoes and like two weeks or three weeks and do the same mistake that I did knock yourself out low tech are really good like I was saying before just get pieces of tin foil just stick it in the cap and then like I don't know you could like wrap it around or just tear it off around and it'll really save the cap and your glue this stuff isn't like super glue or anything, so if you get it on your hands, don't be like scared. Look, if you get it on your hands, all you have to do is like rub your fingers together and it comes right off. Because it, it dries with the heat, so the friction makes it, your fingers hot and all that science stuff, and it just starts rubbing off. So you'll be fine if you get it on your hands or like on your clothes or something. Just rub it off. 